what's on what's on exhibition today? Exhibition uh, come sale. I'll just put some of my work out here because a bit loudly, please. Alexis wanted something on the coconut uh, climber, and of course, since we goans are all uh, librarian, and uh, I thought I'd get some of the few things that I like. What? Like like this guy. Okay. It's, a, it's an old one, but uh, I thought it was in keeping with the theme and. Uh, How many works on Goa would you have done by now? Uh, total in total, thousand? I don't know. I would thousand? Have Not counted? No. I gotta say because it's Sunday, it's Chicken and Pulao Day. Yeah, that's your Bombay, right? Bombay Goan, Catholic oh. Goan series, Catholic right. Goan series. Right. I don't know, but if you ask all the Catholic Goans, I speak there, they say Chicken and Pulao. So that, that that's in Bombay or all over? I think it's all over. It's a national dish on Sunday. Yeah. Should... Well, it varies a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. And and and, and, and this one I like because it's got like our Lorna, kind of Lorna, Lorna kind of thing. Character. Yeah. yeah. And the very nice. band, going Catholic band. Very and nice. More clear. So how do you store your art? Do you keep it in paper or digitally or? Uh, if it's if I think it's good enough, I put it on tile and or on paper. And most of it is digital. A lot of it. You have been in the world of cartooning for how many years now? Uh, uh, maybe 2011. Wow, 2011. Full time? Kind of long, okay. Yeah, so that means uh, almost 13 but, years. But, but digitally, I think from 91. 91. And on average, how many per day? Depends. Yeah, minimum 2, 3, 1, 2. Maybe 2. On average. Maybe 3. That's a lot, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot happening. <laughs> who who uh, does Goa encourage cartooning? Uh, the what's going on encourages cartooning, I think. Sorry. What's going on encourages cartooning. We'll just go out if you don't mind because there's a bit of too much noise. No, so 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 what's the toughest thing about cartooning in Goa today? Uh, being paid for it. Making it making it viable as an occupation. <laughs> yeah. I think people. But I think uh, I think if you're a cartoonist who usually cartoon because you want to say something. Uh, yeah. Not because you expect any returns. But still, no returns are important hey, because. Everybody wants to have a return yeah, whatever yeah. they do. Yeah, like not come. A song. I mean, yes. uh, no, not not only because we have physical needs, but more important, it is also it is also some kind of incentive. Like now, you feel you feel it's that an incentive, but it doesn't stop you, right? I mean, right? you're not going to stop you yeah, because you're not being yeah. paid for it. You do it because you want to say something. But but if you get paid, then you get encouraged. That is also there. Uh, well, then I would have stopped like. Years, years back, ago. years back. <laughs> I but say, sometimes I feel. I really can't say. Sometimes I feel we are. The light is closer to the end of the tunnel than we think it is. I don't. I don't, know. I don't see it as a tunnel. I don't see it. As, <laughs> it's not a tunnel. Like, yeah. You know, only, only this, a, only this, only uh, this viability issue is something. But, no, but art, you can't be like that. You know, I mean, uh, you expect to be paid, of course, for anything you do. Because, but art is something. Once you've seen it, you've consumed it. So why should you pay me? No. The viability issue? No, no, no. I don't think it's that. See, because the other other side is that if no one is going to pay for it, then there is no incentive to produce art, and the society becomes dead. So that yeah. is the other side of it. Now, this yeah. viability issue is something that affects everything, whether it's farms like Edrica or you know us as journalists, cartoonists, whatever, mm. artists, musicians, and in a small state like Goa, where talent is plenty, but the markets are limited. The local talent. I mean, people fly in from everywhere, and they like they. Got a ready-made showcase here. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, I understand. You know That's another saying? problem. But no, it that, is a that, problem for. That is a problem. People, you know, any. I think it's not just Goa, but it's anywhere which is you know being uh, colonized. The word is that the word. Create uh, colonization in the creative spheres, if you want to say. No, but in creative spheres, what happens is that the local artist may not be as as capable, as hard sell, as pushy. As tech savvy as these guys who and come no, in from. No, it's not. It's not that. It's just that they don't have uh, the kind of network yeah. that comes along with the money that comes along with. With that money with and big city, capital. big city and big yeah, money. Because you you actually come to the smaller places because you've got the you know wherewithal to live within these you know, rural which were once. Interesting. Yeah. How do people contact you? 
they like me and my work enough, they will find a way to contact. Facebook, me. don't make it yeah. tough. Facebook, <laughs> Facebook. Yeah, you can. I'm on Facebook. Angela Ferrao. Yeah. Angela Ferrao. Plus oh. you're on. You are on WhatsApp. I'm Don't. on all the social media. Yeah, I you're know. On Twitter, you'll see me ranting there too. Yeah, as Angela <laughs> Ferrao. No, no, that is your rants. I'm talking about your art. See, because WhatsApp. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on uh, Instagram. Instagram Ferrao as Designs. Ferrao Designs. Hmm. Yeah, I know that. Uh, WhatsApp, there is a problem. The groups are very networked, but to get in, you cannot find them also. Oh, no, no. And that WhatsApp is a real pain because it's got your personal phone number and all that. Huh. And you don't want any, you know, some someone sent me some message, something about uh, some body work or some fellow, some I creepy see. person. Uh, you can't, it's yeah. your personal number. So. Chal, thank you so much for all, right, all that. Frederick.